actually like the subtle drama going on between Adekule and Doi. Now, if you guys do not know the gist, let me jog your memory. Now, Adekule and Doi have existing beef before they came into the house. Now, prior before the BB Ninja All Stars commenced, they had an issue already going on um, in their level. And during the reunion, um, Doi called him a trifling human being and insulted his mom indirectly. Guys, to me, I feel like she insulted his mom. She said his mom is going to be disappointed in him for not taking her home training jigger and it caused a lot of controversy on social media because adequately fans were not even having it at all so you know they don't they don't talk to each other now big brother gave them a tax that is the bb ninja all-stars housemates he gave them a painting tax and he grouped them in twos now ural and wipe money were grouped in one team same thing with doi and adequately and when i saw that they were grouped together i was like ah, ah. Big brother, what are you up to? You know these two individuals are at loggerheads. You know they are literally they've had they haven't even said a word to each other ever since they came into the the house. So why are you teaming them up? What drama do you want? And guys, they literally gave us the drama in a very subtle way, guys through their painting oh my gosh now adequately had his diary section after the whole painting and you know big brother asked him what doing said her painting on his face literally meant and yo what he said was so hilarious anyways i trust adequately adequately literally um returned the energy but it doesn't change the fact that you know they feel this way about themselves and you know <laughs> it was just so dramatic but anyways he said that when doing was done and it was time for her to interpret the meaning of her painting on his face she literally said the white parts and the white and the black paint on Adekule's face, that's the two sides, represents the fact that he's a two-faced person. The red on his lips represents that he talks like a woman. The dot on his face, I think the red dot on his face um, shows that he's a very intelligent person. Then the yellow on his nose shows that, you know, he's a clown. And Big Brother asked him how you felt about, you know, her comments. And Adekule said he, di he, he didn't feel any type of way when she said that and he finds it funny actually because Donnie doesn't even know him at all so for her to have that you know conclusion or narrative about him is just so funny but anyways he responded with the painting he did on her own face because Doi has a clown painting on her face like an actual clown painting guys so all the all whatever it is she did to him just shows that in his own perspective he sees her as a clown and nothing more not even that she's a two-faced person or she's a a low budget therapist nothing of that sort just straight to the point that she is a clown guys like it was so funny i even thought doing was even feeling remorseful for you know bringing his mother into their drama or even insulting him at all during the reunion because she had a conversation with fraud and whack money and they told her that they told her outrightly that she was so wrong for involving adequately's mom into their you know exchange of words and i thought she felt remorseful i think she even had a conversation with Ile Bayo or another housemate like i can't remember which housemate in particular and she told them that she would like to have a conversation with Adekule to trash their issue. But to see her sit down and to see Adekule sit down comfortably and then they draw nonsense on their faces and interpret it in the most vile way ever. Yo, it was all shades of hilarious. Trust me, guys. It was so hilarious. Now, for Perez diary section, he had a lot to say about Sissy and Alex and as well as so man now according to Perry, he said um he wished they could just leave alex and cc instead of trying to separate them you know when they have their exchange of words it seems as though this pair is even enjoying the exchange of words because i remember venita saying to mercy that there was a time she was trying to calm them down and Perry told her to sit down and not to even bother jigged i'm like what the hell he was even saying that maybe they could get things heated up and maybe hit each other. We will know what comes next. Oh, because you feel one of them is probably a strong contender, probably sissy. And then you want her to hit the other. That's Alex. And then what comes next is definitely disqualification. I feel like that was so, so unfair of him to say that.
He also said that he was upset with the whole pardon me reasons for picking Soma. And to him, he said he didn't, he didn't make any sense at all. And that, you know, majority of the housemates said that their reason for um, picking Soma for the pardon me um, game was because Soma um, didn't go past two weeks during his set. And um, Perry was like, that's nobody's fault. And that shouldn't even be a valid reason to, you know, pardon him. And, you know, he, he felt like those um, the housemates did not realize or have not realized the fact that they were there, you know, to play a game. And they feel like they are still in their father's house or something. He also said that he couldn't wait to be head of house to, you know, show them how to play a game. Because he feels like, you know, they are all spoiled brats. I'm like, Perry where are you buying your audacity from but to be honest with you i see from Perry's perspective i don't see a reason why you should pardon someone because you feel like um he didn't go past two weeks during his sets that's nobody's fault do you understand if you want to pardon him pardon him that's okay that's your choice you get and your choice is valid but the reason is so invalid to me i didn't see a reason for them to you know um um save him because of that now look at soma during his diary section he actually said that he felt like the housemates were underestimating him and that he's just going to go with the vibe and then at some point he will knock them a pack or something meaning he's going to show them the other side of him which is definitely not going to be the nice summer that they already know she gets like what kind of game is that you're even supposed to be you know extremely you know indebted to them you know so man literally needs to be worshiping the ground all the eight housemates that you know nominated him for the pardon me please game walk on he literally needs to be doing that but look at him doing buga on top what anyways let's move on to alex alex became so teary in the diary section she said a lot of things she said she felt alone that she did not have any friend jigge like she felt like during her last season um when the last time she was on the platform that's double her last season she wasn't really serious with the tags and this time she, around that she's serious with the tax it seems as though um sissy has been making a lot of negative comments about her and about her attempts towards the tax and she just felt so down and so um sad anyways big brother had some words of encouragement for her he told her that um she's a star and that she's not she's supposed to shine bright and not twinkle I just really love that statement i swear i'm gonna use it when i want to encourage anybody you're a star and you should shine you shouldn't twinkle that's a nice one fraud actually cracked me up so bad during his direct section he gave a shout out to his wife that he missed her you know and he also gave a shout out to his mechanic can you imagine on international tv fraud literally told his mechanic that there's a car in his possession his car that is in his possession and he should ensure he he sends the car to his wife can you imagine in his diary section guys that was the only thing i could pick from fraud's diary section and it was so hilarious like where do you think you are to be giving such a message so you think your mechanic is watching your words it was just so hilarious but anyways let's talk about sissy's diary section sissy said you know four people she mentioned four names and four names of people that have been you know trying to poke her and you know use her past um exhibition on the show during the double hala season against her indirectly she mentioned um adekunle venita alex and also she she mentioned perry and then she changed her mind and she said oh she's been she's trying to become like she's in a new era in the house and from now onwards she intends to just ignore any bad energy even if someone literally pulls her hair she wouldn't respond to the person she just wants to be cool and not give any negative vibe that kind of thing according to her she said there are some ships in the house saying she mentioned so man angel but she said at the same time that she doesn't think that ship is going to sail she actually thinks it has capsized already can you imagine she also said there's a triangle between um Tolani badge new and ile baye same thing with kid wire doing and euro anyway she also says she um picked um ile baye for the pardon me game because Ile Baye had complained um, a number of times about, you know, being intimidated. And she knows what it feels like to be intimidated. And she just felt like, you know, nominating her, she would have picked someone randomly. But based on the complaints she heard Ile Baye made a couple of times, she just felt the need to, you know, 
pardon her that kind of thing and i'm like okay that's a cool gesture now let's talk about new guys i'm sure it's not a news to you that venita was actually angry that new did not pick her for the pardon me challenge knowing fully well that she herself did not pick new i don't know what sort of hypocrisy is that but trust me that's on another level entirely she literally picked ik she pardoned ik and even ik pardoned venita so i don't know if it's like if if it was you know a joint um decision or, or a negotiation they had among the amongst themselves but tell me why she was so dramatic about the fact that neo did not pick her anyways neo said um tonani badge he picked tonani badge and he said the reason is because tonani badge is a very loyal person and he felt the need to return that fever and he would not do anything absolutely nothing to jeopardize the um, loyalty he, um he has or the loyalty or the friendship or the bond he has with tonani badge and you know she's a very real person and he just wants to return the favor jige and he has a, actually told big brother that he's actually going to stop there because if he continues big brother is going to twist his words meaning he's gonna like make it seem as though they are in a relationship the highlights for me when it comes to their diary section includes that of adekuli Pere, and even alex it was just kind of dramatic to me oh, did i mention fraud fraud literally cracked me up but trust me i was literally rolling on the floor in laughter mm -hmm. share your thoughts with me in the comment section about all of this gist i just feel you're in thank you so much for watching do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up you know what i'm talking about yes yeah, smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as well as dropping your comments let's dialogue let's just okay see you guys in my next video with undiluted gist bye bye